But so, and, and you can think of this like there are these various great filters, um, you know, that, that perhaps stop civilizations. Um, and one of the great filters is, will we become a multi-planet species or not? Will humanity be one of those species that passes the great filter of, of going beyond one planet and being a multi-planet species? And this is certainly something we will have to do at some point because this, the sun is expanding and will eventually boil the oceans um, and destroy all life on Earth. So if you care about life on Earth, you should really care about life becoming multi-planetary and ultimately multi-stellar, because otherwise you're basically saying you're, you're signing the, the sort of death warrant for all life as we know it. it, it it's, it's inevitable. Um, and then there's also the, the various things that killed off the, you know, the dinosaurs. And, and the, I mean, if you look at the fossil record, there have been five major extinctions uh, that are sort of on the order of 80, 90, 80 to 90% of all creatures on Earth dying. Um, for, for a wide range of reasons. Um, but, uh, and, and then humans can also, you know, with we, this, the, the World War III danger um, that, we're, that, that other creatures didn't have, where we, we could do ourselves in um, by sort of misusing advanced technology and, and sort of just, you know, having some radioactive hellhole that's all that's left after World War III. So, um, you know, it, it, one, you could even characterize it potentially as, which will come first, World War III or uh, life becoming multiplanetary on Mars?